Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful earth scene in Eevee with updating lights and a beautiful atmosphere. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. We just start off, let's go ahead and add a sphere, go into our world settings, change the color to black, and then we're going to add a sun lamp. Face the sun to the sphere like this sun would face the earth. Shade smooth the sphere, give it a subdivision surface. And that looks pretty good. We can also go ahead and set up a camera. All right, go ahead and go into edit mode on the sphere, go into the UV editor, and we can go ahead and scale our UV map to fit our earth texture. That looks just about right. So let's go ahead and get into the shader. All right, in the shader editor, let's go ahead and add a new material, name it earth. We're going to take our principal shader, pull it out some, and we're going to add three image textures. The first one being our main diffuse. I'm going to plug that into the base color. The second being our specular. Plugging that into the specular factors. And our third being the normal map. We're going to add a normal map node and plug it into the normal. Okay, next step is the clouds, so let's go ahead and move that out of the way and add a mix shader. We're going to duplicate our previous principal shader and plug it into the bottom factor. And we're going to add an image texture. Go ahead, and, uh, go ahead and open up your clouds texture and plug it into the factor. Not only are we going to plug it into the factor, but we're also going to plug it into the base color of our principal. And we can go ahead and duplicate that and we're going to make a bump map. So add a bump node. Plug the color into the height and the normal into the normal. As for the strength, you can kind of play with this. Around 0.2 works fine usually. For a little bit more customization, we're going to add a mapping node. Plug the vector into the vector of our image texture and a texture coordinate and the UV into the vector of the mapping. Okay, so next up we need our lights. So to do that, let's go ahead and move all of these shaders out of the way, or all these nodes out of the way. And we're going to go ahead and add a mix shader. We're going to add an emission. And plug it into the bottom of the mix shader. For the color, we want to go with a nice bright orange with a V of around 4. This just changes the brightness so that it comes a little bit clearer with the blue. Alright, so let's go ahead and add an image texture and open up our illumination. Plug the color of that into our factor, and there we go. Currently, one issue with this is that the lights show up in the light, when we actually want them to show up only in the dark, like it would in space. So to fix that, let's go ahead and jump back into the node editor. So back with our clouds image texture, we're going to go ahead and add a mix RGB. We're going to change the color to black and add a diffuse shader. Now, what we're going to do is take this diffuse shader and take the brightness and darkness values and exaggerate them. That way, the value of the darkness is where the lights will render. So go ahead and add a shader to RGB it and plug the diffuse into it. We can also add a color ramp and plug the color of that into the factor. Plug the color of that into the factor of the mix shader, and there we go. Now, as for the settings, this is just about right, and I'll explain in just a minute. Okay, so back in the 3D view, you can see this is what it looks like right now with our current color ramp settings. You can change and feather this out as much as you want, but the black areas are going to be where the lights are going to render. That looks about good to me. So let's go ahead and plug this color ramp factor back into the, to the mix RGB, and there we go. It looks pretty good. The lights are rendering in the dark and feathering that out. That seems just about right. All right, next up for our atmosphere. To do this, we're going to move everything out of the way and add a mix shader. We're going to duplicate that same mix shader and plug it into the bottom of our other mix shader. In total, we're going to end up having three mix shaders. I'll explain why in a little bit, and you'll see. Next up, we're going to add a principal shader and a emission. Plug both of them into the mix shader. And for the emission color, we want to go with a nice blue with a V of around probably, I'd say, 2 or 3. For, for the base color of the principal shader, we're going to go with a nice light blue. 
And for the mix shader, we're going to set this to about 0.175. That I found that's a pretty good factor there. All right, so we're going to duplicate this mix shader. And we're going to add another emission. We're going to change the color to black and plug it into the top factor of our mix shader. All right, we're also going to add a layer weight node. And we're going to plug the Fresnel of that into the factor. Okay, so currently our atmosphere is going to render over the entire Earth when we only want it to render in the light. So same as before, we're going to take our color ramp diffuse shaded RGB nodes, copy them, and move them over. And we're going to use this as the factor for our first mix shader. Plug the color of the color ramp into that mix shader. And there we go. So let's go ahead and look at what this looks like. In the 3D viewport, go into render view. And this actually isn't looking too bad. I feel like the atmosphere is a little large, so changing the blend on the layer weight to about 0.2 makes it a little bit better. Now, currently, this blend between atmosphere and Earth is not exactly what we want. So to fix this, we're going to go ahead and duplicate our mix shader. And we're going to duplicate our black emission shader, plug it into the bottom of the mix shader, change our color ramp factor, or input, to be onto this new mix shader instead. And for that other mix shader, keeping it around 0.5 works just fine. And I feel like that looks a whole lot better. But for our case, we also need to add an invert. And once that's done, there we go. It looks pretty good to me. And that is it for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. A couple of recommendations to make this scene better is to duplicate this, scale it up, and use this as the clouds map. That way the clouds are a little bit off the earth like they would be in real life. Same thing with the atmosphere and just a little bit more out and a little bit blurred. Those are just a couple of suggestions to take it just that step further. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.